Good morning all. I am Poonam Swapnil Sadhu, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT Pune. Today we are going to see the phases of design thinking process under the subject Design Thinking of SYBT. Empathize. Empathize is the first step of the design thinking process. It is the ability to understand the feelings or the thoughts of another person in a given situation. Empathize is the first stage of the design thinking process. It is very important essential step of the design thinking process. Design teams conduct the research to get personal grasp of the user's needs. They observe and consult users to get the insight into the user world. In this manner, they understand the user experiences, motivations and problems. Now the second step is define step. Once a thorough understanding of the user's need is gained, the next step is to define the problem. This involves organizing and analyzing all the information that is gathered during the empathy phase and reframing the challenge based on user insights and identifying the core issues that need to be addressed. The final definition of the problem, also called the problem statement, serves as a guiding principle throughout the design process. The third step is the, or the third phase is the ideation phase. It is the process of generating a wide range of ideas of possible solutions around the defined problem without judgment or limitations. Looking at the problem from the different perspectives, designers explore the various possibilities, brainstorming and collaborating to come up with innovative solutions. The goal is to promote a creative environment that encourages out-of-the-box thinking and embracing irregular or creative approaches. Listing down all the possible solutions or ideas and trying each one of them to find out the best possible solutions can also be done during this stage of design thinking. Now brain writing record every one of your thoughts on a piece of paper, then pass the paper on. Whomever you pass it to foster your thought further, at that point passes the paper on. This goes until a specific time limit is reached. Then at that point the whole group assembles. Sketches. This is the fast method for envisioning thoughts without exhausting a lot of time. In the event that you sketch your impart your plans to other colleagues, it tends to be powerful ideation device. Mind maps and flow charts. An outline and perception device that show how the thoughts are connected, making it simpler in order them and identifies the design. SWOT analysis. Used to identify the strengths, weaknesses, external opportunities and threats of an idea. Next phase is the prototyping. It involves producing inexpensive and low-scaled version of the possible solutions identified during the ideation phase. This can range from simple sketches to interactive models or simulation. The purpose of prototyping is to quickly and cost-effectively test ideas and gather the feedback from the users. Iterative prototyping allows designers to refine the solutions based on the user insights leading to more effective outcomes. With minimal effort, prototyping can reveal whether the proposed product will work, whether it's technically feasible and what challenges you will face bringing it to life. 
Now, the last phase is testing and feedback. Design thinking emphasizes the importance of testing and gathering the feedback from the user throughout the process. By observing how users interact with the prototypes created in the prototyping phase and listening to their feedback, designers can refine and improve their solutions. Testing the prototype with users without any involvement of the instruction or the guidance to the users can deliver the better results. This is iterative test and feedback loop helps to ensure that the final solution aligns with the user needs and expectations. In this way, we have studied all the phases of the design thinking process. Thank you.